I've had a few people ask me what camera equipment I use. Um, first one, Galaxy Note 2. Very useful camera. Um, it's good for photographs as well. It's fantastic for things like panoram panoramic shots, etc. But also, when you, you know when you're wandering around and shouldn't be taking videos and people say no cameras or whatever, you can pretend to be uh, reading your emails or something. <laughs> yeah, it's very useful for things like that. Um, I'll do the other stuff on my other. Well, I'll do. I'll actually record on this because it's the easiest way of showing you all the kit. Um, what I want to point out, though, is I don't go for the latest kit. I just have a lot of it. The, I mean, this is three years old. I don't go for the latest camera. I don't go for the latest phone. This one. Yeah, it's three years old. Because I, I look at the new Samsung Notes and stuff, and they're going, it's thinner. It's got a curve. You want me to pay what for having a curvier, thinner phone? Um, could I just have the money in my pocket and have one of these that's about a third of the price these days? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Okay, so this is me from the other side. Um... This is my Logitech camera. These are really good, and I think the prices have dropped because when I bought it, it was quite an expensive camera. In fact, I think it was the most expensive Logitech camera. It was about a hundred and hundred and something. Um, but it works well in the dark. It works well. It's it's just a very good camera. Uh, the next one is my Samsung mic. That's Samsung, not Samsung. Very good microphone for doing YouTube stuff um, or just audio generally. This is my little PC, which is quite a big PC. As you can see, we've got a bit of damp problem going on there at the moment, something we're dealing with. Um, then we have my laptop over here. This laptop is pants. <laughs> but you know when I'm sat in a hotel, it's this camera here. And I know a lot of people complain about the audio, so that sort of sums it up. It's a cheap HP laptop, and audio's crap, camera's okay. It's recording ability is pants. It, it, I can't use Camtasia, which is on here, on there. It just doesn't run. Uh, the laptop's just not built for it. I don't know what the laptop's built for. If it's beyond an Excel spreadsheet, it's pretty pants. And now we're on to my camera bag, which is zipped up. This is what I want to be using. Um, I've got different lenses in here for different things. As you can see, I've got um, there's a 300 lens, etc. Uh, this is my Canon 650D. I've got different types of well, that, that lens that's on it is actually a uh, panoramic lens. It's a wide one. And I've got other lenses like this. There should be a small lens in here, which is uh, it's down here. The, but basically, this is the camera I want to be using. I'm just waiting for a filter kit to come for this. Uh, because being in Spain, the sunlight's too too bright for it. It's really struggling. Well, sorry, the camera's not struggling. I'm struggling um, because I'm getting too much flare up on light. And now we're into the next box of tricks. Uh, have I put my cameras in this one or is it the next one down? Well, as you can see, I'm pretty organized with the plastic boxes. My foot just fell on the floor. Um, what we have in here should be my GoPros. I have a couple of Go GoPros. Very good cameras. Um, these are the silver edition. This one's got the uh, the wind, uh, what they call a wind cap, which is basically a wind mic on the back of it. Um, I've got two waterproof cases. They fit on my cycling helmet. I've got different harnesses for it, etc. Um, going to do, be doing more with those. And what else have we got in here? Uh, that's that's that box. Hang on, I'll open another one. Okay, our next box of tricks. This is a rodeo mic. 
Um, very, very good mic. Um, these are directional mics. You know, a nice straight one. Um, highly recommend those. You do get the ones that are round, which are more of a studio mic for sounds, you know, like for pack, picking up sounds around you, where these are actually pointing at a person, etc. So you get a better quality of sound out of it. Um, beyond that, that's, that's an old 400, is it? 400D, I think. Yeah, 400D. This is uh, my other... Well, other lens. This is my new lights. Um, I've done a video on this, um, which is basic for helping with some of the lighting issues we get. Various stands I get from all over the place. Just to try different ones. This is the chest harness for the GoPro. Uh, ring flash, and basically that's my kit except for my drone which is under the bed I've got one of those uh, flying drones that I can attach the GoPro camera to works on GPS etc um, but I haven't really used it too much because it's, it's having the space to do it oh and this is one of my new things that I haven't used yet which is caught in the curtain this is a camera dolly um, or a slider Basically, it's you mount your camera and it gives you some nice effects. You know, where the camera slides in and out, different angles. You adjust the wheels like a skateboard. It'll go around in circles, give you different viewpoints, etc. All this stuff I'm learning to use because um, I've accumulated this stuff over a period of time. But due to the way work's been, one thing I haven't had is time. And now I've got the time, I'm going to actually use it for something useful which is learn how to use all this gear and produce better videos because the quality could do with improving uh, what else have I got oh yeah I've got my green screen and stuff but that's still in the UK hopefully my father's bringing that over next month but yeah that's my camera gear um, it's a few bits and pieces <laughs> it's only when I actually look at this that I see how much stuff I actually have alright thanks for watching